Everybody starts the season even, ready to go to begin the fourth iteration of the highest echelon of marble racing, Marbula One. The world converges on the Razway to watch 20 competitors attempt to stake their claim for Marbula One championships, both individual and the team. And Team Momo has their captain on pole position at this racetrack, the first time we've been back here since the inaugural season of Marbula One. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. You see the choices that the teams make to kick off this year. Could that be a crucial one? Of course, the team members have to compete in equal numbers of Grand Prix. And we see Team Momo with their captain up front in front of Speedy, Orangen, Cloudy, Stinger, and Pinky Panther. The likes of former champions like the Crazy Cat's Eyes with Blue Eye all the way toward the back. That is a change. Even Mallard back there mid-pack is a bit different for the Green Ducks. But hope springs eternal as we get ready to dive into the first turn of the Razway. And we're rolling to start the season. Team Momo gets around first. Orangen holding second place. There's Speedy and Stinger trying to go around the outside of Orangen to take that spot. But a nice counter move. Orangen comes back into the second place, makes the move for the lead in that chicane. Momo drafts by on the straightaway, heading into the far hairpin. Speedy is looking economous as they come around. Oh, they're going to be side by side coming up this conveyor belt. Speedy as it is. What will Speedy the Marble do coming off of it? Second place. Nice burst of speed from Stinger, who notches into third spot. That jolt leaves Orangen momentarily stationary. That lets Cloudy close right up. Momo, as we saw it during the qualifying race in Q2, is trying to stretch off into the distance. These top three switching back and forth all the time. Momo notches fastest lap, 23.45. Off they come the belt. This is a close battle there between Orangen and Speedy. The two of them trading by the corner, it seems like. Stinger is also in the mix. Here comes Cloudy with a nice launch off of that ramp. Setting yourself up for the next two sectors of this course if you nail that drop perfectly. I'll go into the hairpin, ready to complete this lap. Then it's Speedy, Orangen, Mallard, who has had a wonderful recovery up to fourth spot. Pinky Panther, Cloudy has fallen back. Firo, Stinger, Starry, Hart, Shimmer, Fenrir, Arup, Cerulean, Thunder, Mocha, Razzie gets by Iceberg, then it's Blue Eye and Clutter all the way to the back. Speedy has gotten by Momo while I was reading that off, but now Momo says not so fast. Following lockstep in the hairpin, those two are very close. Speedy by four tenths of a second. This lead will continue to change, I imagine. There's a nice battle that we just saw off-screen. Orangen and Mallard as they dive down through the first sector. Orangen is holding that third spot for now, but wants a piece of P2. Oh, missed move there. Almost opens the door for Mallard. There goes Orangen. Momo falls back to third. Cloudy has lost touch with these just a bit. But stringing together in maybe two, three good sectors has gotten that marble right back in it. Off they come. This is Speedy's lead right now, nearing the midway point of this first round of Marbula One. We're only two and a half minutes in. This race is going quickly. Oh, there was some collisions back there right before the ramp, and the benefactor was Cloudy. Third place for that marble for the Hazers. Momo falling all the way back to fifth spot right now. Speedy. Six tenths of a second is that lead. There we see it coming up the belt, but that mid-pack battle is very close. That hasn't always been the case in opening Grand Prix in Marbula One. Sometimes this field really gets strung out, but everybody has done their preparation. Oh, and look at Orangen making a mistake there, going right down that attenuator, but doesn't pay the price for it. Momo, looking for an opportunity, almost gets by and makes up three spots but now gets jostled back. But look at how close that up. Five marbles on three steps of the conveyor belt. Cloudy gets the inside line there, and Orangen cannot fight back. Momo tries to get by, but there's a collision. And Piggy Panther also got set backward for a moment, as does Mallard. Mallard got a hard whack there. We're seeing several points of this racetrack developing where if you make one wrong step or there is a collision 
at the inopportune moment, you will pay for it. The lead is down under three tenths of a second. Speedy leading Cloudy. And it's a little gap back to Momo, who still holds fast his lap. Nobody has been able to get their speed going to match that pace. But ultimately, you're fighting for a win up front, not necessarily fast as lap. Well, looking back there, there's a lot of speed from Mocha. Pressuring Stinger, who was up there in the top three, but has fallen all the way back behind Arup. Stinger in 12th spot. The lead has continued to come down. No, Cloudy has the lead over Speedy by 10th of a second. Off of the belt they come and down through the drop. Wonderful exit by Cloudy. Orangen, she's Momo giving a little bit of pressure, but Orangen got by within the last lap. Take a brief peek farther back in the field. Clutter still dead last. Blue Eyes only made up one spot. Fenrir has dropped all the way back to 19. Thunder has been back there most of the time. Mocha is going backwards. Cerulean recovering slightly. Mallard falling back down there into sixth. Still better than the 12th where Mallard started. Cloudy, who began this race in fourth, still holds the lead with just a couple to go. You can watch those wandering their way through these turns. Several different lines that these marbles have taken, but it isn't always paying off either. There's a look farther back with Blue Eye fighting with Finn Rear as we take a look at the front of the field. Going up that conveyor belt, those marbles positioning themselves on opposite sides. Interesting to see which exit works best. It seemed fairly even that time between Cloudy and Speedy. He is slow through that turn right before the drop, however. He does get some speed up here. Oh, a mistake off the attenuator for Cloudy. And Speedy has the lead, but the draft goes right back. And a clout by Speedy on the curb seals that first place as we head into the final lap. Two big rivals in season one are now facing each other once again. Savage Speeders and the Hazers. Speedy, Cloudy, two lengths apart. Heading into this near hairpin. In front of the grandstands, Cloudy goes around the outside and an impact there does the same thing to Speedy, which sends that marble going backward. Perfectly timed, Cloudy will win the opening Grand Prix and their first ever Marbula One race. Speedy gets second place, Momo holds third, and Clutter Suddenly remembers to finish this race. There we go. Oh my, not sure what happened there. Well, anyway, Orangen does get fourth in front of Mallard. The Hazers are thrilled. Speedy, a net gain of zero over the course of that race, but that doesn't tell the whole story. 13 overtakes for Cloudy, seven for Speedy, finishing over half a second behind. And that was a great closing duel that we saw. I'm not sure if we're going to get all of the replays on it, but here was one of them. Look at how close they were. There's the outside move by Cloudy. And that impact right there stopped Speedy just enough. There's Coach Smokey up there as well, celebrating on the top step of the podium. And that's a nice points haul for the Hazers. stuck and passed by Mallard, but does manage to get back. That opening sector is deceptive. Slow in parts, but very technical. I dare say that Cloudy mastered that first sector, but really made it count. Coming down that back stretch. One Grand Prix of Marbula One down, many more to go, and we hope that you'll be with us for the entire way. See you next time.